Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Junk Journal Gems. I've got some items to show to you today and actually I have multiple things to show you. Um, I live in Wisconsin and we have had some very, very unseasonal weather this year. It's been cold, rainy, we've gotten snow already. And today is the first sunshiny day that we've had in a little while. So I've really not um, had some good lighting so that I can properly share these items with you. So I'm going to dive right in because I have so much to share with you. And I may need to split up this video into a couple different videos for you. But let's get going on this. Hope everybody's doing well and staying warm where you are and if you're in a warm climate lucky you what am I doing in Wisconsin all right this first journal I call my bunny botanical journal he and the other ones that I'll be showing you are already listed on excuse me on my Etsy shop and this journal is has a um Seam binding closure. It's a the bunny is an image from a nature animal book and is surrounded by this wonderfully soft, fuzzy um, trim. There's some wooden wood looking buttons up here, and he has this adorable clip down at the bottom and a sentiment that says found. The cover is a canvas, a I would call this like an olive green canvas, and has a nice bend to it. So this feels really good and has a bit of crunchiness to it. I am a very, <laughs> I'm finding through journal making that I'm an, an incredibly tactile person, more so than I thought that I was. So um, I tend to put a lot of texture into my journals whenever I can because I just like it. So as we dive into the book, the inside cover is also a cotton fabric. And we've got some coffee dyed pages in here. Um, a lot of the pages have been stitched around and stamped. And there are some pages from nature books as well as bird books in here. So let's take a look. This page is a nature page. This ha particular page happens to be of trees. The tag on the front um, pocket, and this pocket is one of those index, I call them index dividers. I don't know what the actual name is. And the tag is of a starling, and you can write on the back of it. There's another little tag in here. And here we get into the yummy coffee dyed paper, the stamped image of a bird, butterfly on the opposite side with a sack that has um, bird tissue paper decoupaged on it. And then the inside of the sack is a little notebook that I made. So you can, <coughs> excuse me, jot all your notes down on there. Some composition paper, coffee dyed. This is some typing paper. I like to use um, paper that has this light texture to it so that you've got um, some pages that you can attach your photographs to. I like to use in my journals one of those HP sprocket printers to pin, pin, yeah, to pin my pictures, to print my pictures on because they have that adhesive backing and you can stick them right onto a page. So that's fun. Here's a little pocket. I didn't put anything in here because our little bunny fellow was getting, getting kind of puffy. So that you can put more pictures or notes in. There's a giant tag here for you to write your notes on the back. It also is coffee dyed, but it has this Emily Dickinson, hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. I like that. 
This is on a craft type paper. Here's a bird book page. Little nut hatch here, I think is what that is. Here's more birds. I have no idea what this little guy is. I call this school paper, but it's the paper um, that kids use to practice their letters. More yummy coffee dyed. Another bird page. Here's a fun little page that zips around so that you can read the information about the birds, but then if you flip it over, guess what? Oh, I'm sorry, I bumped the camera. You can write your secrets on the other side and no one will ever know. <laughs> Here is a um, tissue paper, um, or a napkin, excuse me, decoupaged envelope with another bird image. I think they call that a cedar wax wing. And here is some poetry, poetry book page for you. Getting picky, I like it like that. This fun little bowl clipped card has a feather on it with a butterfly, some more of that napkin, and this is some piano roll paper. Here is some ledger paper. Pretty. More birds. And more birds. This is a paper ruffle that I have sprayed with some um, little spray glitter metallic inks. Little bug on the page. Little beetle bug, as my son would have said when he was younger. Beetle bugs. Here's a pocket with a tag for you to journal on. Did you see me shake there? I've had so much coffee this morning, and I couldn't figure out why I was shaking so badly. Well finally dawned on me. I don't think I ate supper last night. I ate a very late lunch. So here's a poem from um, Robert Frost. On this page, we have an altered paper clip. The Baltimore Oriole on here. Can you see that okay? Lots of journaling space in here. This reminded me of like going through a fence or a gate on a nature walk. Another altered paper clip with um, the word finches on it. And this is a leaf from a plant in my garden that I dried, put on there. A card, um, a greeting card. Um, I don't know if this is an egret or a heron. So if you know, let me know. Here on this page is a pocket with a tag that I have put some, um, this is a page from a German Latin dictionary and you can journal on the back. So there's this little coffee dyed pocket here and then you've got a pocket here. And I left in the center this <laughs> page with all the different squirrels. I thought he was pretty fun. Here's a library card for you to journal on with some different leaf images. Here's the back side of that card with a little surprise whimsical page from a children's um, storybook. Another paper ruffle that has been, got some metallic um, ink sprays. Here's a pocket band with an alpine meadow image and a glass scene envelope. Isn't that a serene image? Inside the envelope is some um, index cards with butterfly stamps for you to write on. More treasure space. And that. 
This is Wisconsin. Not quite yet, but I'm sure we'll be getting that much snow eventually. Here's a little field notes booklet that I made. Here's some, here, let me grab this. There's a little pocket here, a little pocket there for you. There's this little acorn card, and you can write on the back of these. A pocket here, and a pocket here for you to tuck your trinkets or your ephemera for your journal. And then this is the back of your Botanical Bunny journal. So this is Botanical Bunny. This one I've been calling Victorian music. Its closure is some sari silk. And both of these are already on my Etsy page. The cover of this journal is lace sewn around the outside of this wonderful Edison photograph, phonograph image that has been um, decoupaged. And on here is some Battenberg lace, a Battenberg lace flower with a button in the middle, a button for the tie. Now, this book is interesting because I was fortunate to have found a um, antique music book that all has all love songs in it and it has the most wonderful images on the inside and this is one this end paper is one of the images from that book so that's where I gain my inspiration from for this journal this is piano roll the end of a piano roll right here this is piano roll paper Tim Holtz birds on this side we've got a little flippity flip so it opens up like this. You can write on here if you like. You can write on the inside. It's got um, coffee dyed fabric hinges. But in here you've also got this, whoops, sorry, image of this lady. And you've got a journaling card here that's been collaged. Why is it when we're on camera, then you can't? Plus, it's all the coffee I had this morning. <clears throat> Come on. Here we go. And up at top, you've got a large journaling card with some more piano paper on there and some music and plenty of space for notes. These pages are all very coffee dyed, so it's got a wonderful vintage aged feel to it again sewn around the edges and stamped in the corners with some flowers some very nice grungy coffee stain composition paper i left the strings on here but if you if the owner of this book um, doesn't like the strings go ahead and snip them off some more piano paper with a gentleman image, some book pages, doily stenciled on there, more delicious coffee stain, some of that music paper I was talking about. And on the inside of the music paper, I decoupaged some um, country. Um, English countryside um, tissue paper and over here we have an advertisement for piano paper and in the pocket is a tag so there's a pocket there and there's another pocket on the inside here for you. It's the back side. More yumminess. Another doily. Again a lot of space for journaling journaling or putting in your own ephemera a tag for you to write on or a card for you to write on and here is a old postcard whenever I see names on a postcard how can you help but to wonder who was Orvs Davis or Davison it looks like who was that 
This is a glassine um, bag that I have sewn shut and glued on the page, but inside is a dried hydrangea stem or flower and leaf from my garden. Inside the sack here, some journaling cards out of index cards, all yummy coffee stained. Here we have another piano advertisement with a um, pocket in the back and there's a little, <laughs> a little tag with some um, tea bag on it and a little tiny bird. On the other side we've got a butterfly. Then over here under the bowl clip, holding that on is a collage pocket with a leaf and some book pages. For here we've got more tea um, tea bag and some piano paper, but on the inside is a journaling card. More music paper. Here on this page is a clip with vintage buttons. I'm hoping you can see this okay. There's a, one of the Tim Holtz card ladies with some string and some um, grungy coffee dyed paper behind it. In this side of the sack, I've got a notebook that I made and I sprayed with some of those metallic ink sprays, some coffee dyed note pages inside for you. Here's the back. Here we have a pocket with another tag that you can write on. An image of a lady and gentleman dancing. Here's a glassine sack and inside is a little flip booklet with uh, the hinges are all fabric sewn on. That was fun to make. I like making those. Whoops, slipped off the page. Here we have another um, coffee stain envelope with a um, with the tissue paper with the countryside um, people Mod Podged on in an image of a lady and a gentleman dancing. Inside, we have a collage journaling card with some more of the piano paper. And you can, I don't know if you can see the images behind where the, I guess the notes are or how, whatever triggers the piano to make the music. Uh, stamp and some journaling space. This is a page from a very old, um, German Latin dictionary. But a nice generous generously sized pocket for you to tuck a bunch of treasures in. And here I don't I stuck this in here because it gave me a kick. This is a book page made into an envelope for you with some flags. This is fabric here sewn on as a flip. Whoops, sorry. Flip for you to write your secrets underneath. This is a coffee filter that has a doily on it and some um, very fuzzy trim and a book page flower. Some more music paper. Lots of journaling space. Here's another pocket with a tuck back here. You can write on that. And inside the collage pocket is a German card, the relations. And back here we have a doily with some tags and tickets. A 
Here's a little glassine mini envelope that's been collaged with a vintage button, some lace. And in here are some little pieces of ephemera for you. Some little birds and butterfly. So, for you to play with. And then the back page is another page from that sheet music book that I was able to get. So this is the Victorian music book that I have made. Again, both on the Etsy shop. Let's see, we're at 20 minutes. I'm going to dive in and go a little further. Let's go ahead and look at Ribsy here. This is the book Ribsy that ha is the cover, and I have taken out the inner pages. These are the end papers, the dog collar. This is a fun little book. The um, spine has a hidden spine that has been reinforced on the inside, but the inside paper is like this. I have these little images of these little dogs. I had such fun making this. We have four dogs, which... I know, it sounds like we're dog hoarders or something, but I have a Maltese that I am training to do agility with, and we have a small Munsterlanda that um, we breed, and our son has a Yorkie. There's a Yorkie. And then I also have a little Shih Tzu mix, so that's our little, our dog pals. This page is from a book from my childhood. It's The book is called Saucy. So a fabric belly band here with a journaling card. And let's see, um, what is the name of this book? This is from a vintage book about a boy and his dog. Oh, I can't think of the name of the book right now. Here's some po a poem about a dog. Or poems about a dog. Another poem. This is a pocket here with some fabric on there and some dog sentiments and a large journaling card for you to write on. This is a little workbook page from a children's book. Children's school workbook. Some blue lace here little belly bland, belly bland belly band with a ribbon through the middle and a little booklet here that says sweet and some dog paws has some lace on it some note paper for you um this is from another childhood book of mine called fletch fletch i think is the name of it But lots of fun pages in here for you to put your pictures on or your own ephemera. Lots of journaling space again. Here's a pocket with a card on it. Here's a little, again I call them flippity flips. On the back side of this is journaling space for you in that pocket. It's full of pockets. This little piece here is a bunch of discoveries in itself. Here's a little tag here that you can journal on. Dogs are not our whole life, but they make our life whole. In my house, that is for sure. Here's some more journaling space on the inside. So just in this piece alone, there's quite a bit of writing space in it. That's fun. A dog flip. You look so distinguished. Dogs have boundless enthusiasm, but no sense of shame. I should have a dog as a life coach. This book has two signatures in it. Here's a Maltese. My Maltese does not have full show coat. She's in what they call an Asian cut, so... Her body is shorter, but she's got the long hair and her tail and ears. Not that you cared to know, but there you have it. <laughs> Pages from a dog book. Here's more from that book, Fletch. Wish. 
little flash card as a pocket. There's a girl and her dog. Is that cute or what? You can write on the back. Page from a dog book. Doc's going crazy over the squirrel and <laughs> Yeah, our small ones delander. That's what that's what would be going down at our house. And here, full clipped on, we have a airmail envelope. Plenty of space for you to do whatever you desire with this. Just clipped on there. Here are these images of a dog have been fussy cut and put on the page. A bone to the dog is not charity. Charity is the bone shared with the dog when you are just as hungry as the dog. Jack London. Here's again from that book, um, Saucy. Saucy looks to me to be a schnauzer. Whoops. And here we've got a little flip for you to journal on. And here is a dictionary page that actually is from a dictionary that my mom had when she was in school. And it's got some dog words on it. page from the Ribsy book. Here's a little glassine bag with a puzzle piece on here and some fun string. Best dog ever. This says I woof you. And there's some treasures on the inside of the bag. I thought I put, no, just I put the one. It's a trouble when you're going crazy making journals. You can't remember what you put where. So there's that, and there's a pocket behind it. So there's plenty of space for you to put your own images and your own things, your own writings. Here's a library card from a book, You're a Good Dog, Joe. That's that book that I couldn't think of. And a journaling card. No one appreciates the very special genius of your conversation as the dog does. Because <laughs> our dogs think we're brilliant, right? And the closure in this one is a post with an elastic here. And if you put enough information and pieces and ephemera and all kinds of goodness in your book that you need some um, expansion, you can undo the knot in the elastic here and you'll have more stretch to your closure. So that is the Ribsy book. Where are we at in time? We're doing pretty well. I'm going to keep crack in here. This book is... I said I wasn't going to do a Christmas journal, and people started doing Christmas journals online, and I couldn't help myself. And I tell you what, I had so much fun making this journal, and it's yummy inside. The paper feels good. I love, this is a read, Reader's Digest cover with a wooden um, die cut on the front that I've painted with greens and burgundies that go along nicely with this fabric on the spine that I've left some fringes on the top for its owner. The backing behind the die cut is a sparkly gold mesh. So although the Reader's Digest cover, you can see behind it, it's got a sparkle to it. In the book, I used an Artie Mays kit. Um, Shoot, I can't think of the name of the kit right offhand now, wouldn't you know it? Um, but gosh, it is so pretty, and it went so well with this fabric. I just had fun. Um, this 20-pound paper is a high-resolution paper, so it's got a really nice feel to it. The other thing I like about using this paper for my own personal journey, journaling, too, is it accepts... Um, inks really well. So let's dive into it. So here is some journaling space on the Artie Mays paper. This is a chunky monkey. This is three chubby signatures in here. I went a little crazy. I couldn't stop. I got in a Christmas mood and I was on a roll. This is a book page from a Christmas book. And in here is some music with 
O little town of Bethlehem, and hark the herald angels sing. The envelope from the kit. Merry Christmas to you, and it opens up with some space for you to make some notes, and I put some piano paper in here. This tucks in the back of the circle. Unless if you're on camera, then it doesn't, apparently. Well, really. There we go. So this tucks into this pocket here. Some lace and coffee dyed papers that I've added to the book as well. This is another book from a vintage um, Christmas book. And on some of the pages I have these sparkly snowflakes to give it some dimension. There's tabs in here from the kit. Here is a old postcard. Dear Dora, we're all well and hope the same to you. We were all sick, but now we are all well again. Our teacher is sick and we are not having school. Well, good for you. <laughs> Poinsettias on the image there. Our coffee paper. Here's a page from the kit. So pretty. I just love that it has this hint of vintagey Christmas. Whoops, went a little. I love the birds. Some music paper here. I love using pages from the Ideals books. Here's an altered paper clip. With some mesh. Look at this image. Is that wonderful? Some flags here. Here's a bulk clipped envelope for you. And inside the envelope is a journaling card. Some green and white ledger paper, or green and white, green and red. The inside of the envelope has been stenciled with doily. Again, I had so much fun making this journal. I'm pretty sure my husband was very tired of me every step along the way showing him, look at it, look at it, look at it. He humors me though. He's wonderful. More bird pages. Another flag with a sparkly snowflake. Another envelope with a journaling card. Is a December poem. You can write on the back. Look at this image from a book. <gasps> Love it. Here's another pocket with a tag to write on. A lot of writing space again. I'm a journaler, so I like to have a lot of writing space. Here's a postcard. Here's a second signature. Another page from a Christmas book. Pocket here with a little tag. Another vintage page, tag, collage, another little flippity flip with writing space on the inside and on the inside of these are some more tags to write on. There's another one up at the top with little fabric trims at the top. journaling card at the back. And 
poinsettias are beautiful. Just love these pages. There's an image of kids. Whoops, I'm way off camera. And then I bump you. So sorry. Twenty fifth on the outside of this envelope. With some cheesecloth. And another little card. Birds kind of remind me of all of our bird feeders around the house all year round. Here in the middle of this signature, it's a little sentiment that says peace. To tag. Jewels of January. It's not January yet. Children's winter. Music paper. This is a pocket. This is actually a square that I had made years ago. I was going to make a Christmas quilt and it I just I gave up quilting. We'll just put it that way. It's just not my fancy. My mom is a wonderful quilter. I have made quilts, but it's just too too time consuming for me. So I just made it into a pocket. Here's a little notebook, fabric hinge. And the pages inside are actually from one of those old, remember those flip-up things where you could put people's addresses and it had the alphabet on the side? That's what that's from. Here's the back. A little mason jar. More Christmas hymn, hymnal music. Christmas page from about England. Third signature now. This is Austria. Another little band with a blue trim. With some sparkle in it. The collage journaling card. And another envelope that's been sewn around the outside. And this says, the stars are always shining. The card on the inside. All right. Some more flags. You can tuck things up in there. And the Collins Christmas Annual, or Children's Annual, excuse me. Another tag and card, or tag in a pocket. Gosh, words are hard for me today. Journaling card. Yummy coffee dye. This is that same heavy paper, but when you coffee dye it, it just takes it on so well. Two children. Here's another pocket. This has that mesh with some stenciling behind the mesh. Tag here with the Christmas December poem and a tag behind it. Some fabric trim, more coffee yumminess, and it smells so good. Some trim on the edge of that paper. I love this. Imagine, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I never would have gotten my kids to do this. Never, ever, never, ever. 
poems of Christmas, another mason jar for you to make your notes on. Wouldn't this journal be wonderful to put your Christmas lists in and keep track of what your menu going to be? What are the recipes that you use? What are your memories throughout the Christmas season? Who came to visit you or who did you go and visit? What did you give as gifts and what did you receive as gifts? Who is on your Christmas card list? Just wonderful. Because I don't know about you, but I cannot always remember what I gave to my kids for Christmas the year before. Oh, get this. So here's a story. Time out. You would not believe this. So six months after Christmas this year, I found half of my oldest son's gift hidden away. How I didn't, and it was a major gift. I mean, how I did not remember that I had that tucked away or lost track of it, I have no idea. So now that's the joke that mom's getting old. <laughs> I can't remember what she's buying for everybody for Christmas. My goodness. So I'm sure I'm going to have to hear about that for Christmases to come until my next faux pas. All right, and here are some um, playing cards with train and sleigh ride images, snowflake on there. You can write on the back. It's got typing paper on the back, but yet you can still see the playing card through it. That's fun. The other side, you've got a belly band with some Christmas plate images and a um, tag there. And here's the end of the book. And again, this one has also got the elastic closure. So if you need some growing room, you can undo the knot. Whoops! You can undo the knot and still expand away if you would like to or if you want to skinny it down you can take out some of the envelopes and the tags if if that's what you prefer but this is just such a yummy book i want to thank you all for joining me today i know it's been a lot to share i appreciate you um being patient as we go through these but gosh i just was getting so behind um, I will have more to share with you at a later date, and I will be back. But like I said, these are on the Junk Journal Gems Etsy page. Um, if you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, bye, take care, be safe and warm.